we have given ourselves three days and six hundred dollars to completely remodel a bathroom in our home when you're on a budget you have to be creative refurbish what you can and use what you already have my name's katie and we bought our florida home in 2020 as a fixer-upper that we planned on living in for many more years. However, now we have decided that we are going to go ahead and leave Florida, which means we are going to fast track all of the renovations that we had planned over several years, and we're gonna condense it down. We want to do as many renovations as we possibly can so that our house will sell quickly and for as much money as possible. We've given ourselves a month to basically renovate our entire house on our own and on a very low budget. This weekend is a bathroom that needs a complete overhaul. Our house is almost 100 years old and the bathroom looks like it hasn't been touched in at least 40 years. The tub and the tiles are stained pretty bad, but we don't have the time or the money to completely replace them. So what we're gonna do instead is we're going to refinish the tub and paint the tile. We are also going to be putting down new floors, replace the vanity top and sink, replace all of the hardware and lighting, remove the medicine cabinet and add a new mirror and basically paint the entire room. So let's see if we can get it all done in three days and still stay within our $600 budget. So let me just show you what the bathroom looks like Mostly before we start, we did pull out the medicine cabinet here that with that had a mirror and went ahead and put a little board over it. We pulled off the top to the vanity and we're going to replace both of those things. This lighting fixture up here is very old and it has like an electrical outlet in it. I've never seen that before. Um, we're going to pull down that vent fan and spray paint it. We had previously started replacing that vent fan, but hadn't gotten around to finishing it yet. And we've changed out that electrical outlet already. And you can just kind of see how stained the tile and the tub is. And it also needs to be re-grouted. We are going to try and save as much money as we can. Uh, it basically needs to be gutted, but we're gonna try and refurbish everything that we can. One of the things that we're doing is instead of buying a new vanity is we're gonna fix up the vanity that's in there right now. And we are completely making our own vanity top. So this is just some extra wood that we had lying around. We used it to make a platform bed several months ago. And I am just going to seal it um, since it's gonna be in the bathroom so that it can get wet. Um, I considered just leaving it this color, but I ended up not liking it very much once it dried. So I did end up painting it black. And then this is something else that we already had in the house. It is a mirror that came with a dresser that we got for free. I was a little nervous while I was painting everything that I was painting a lot of black, um, but it ended up looking pretty good at the end. This is the tile that I'm painting. You can get some special tile paint um, that works really well and you just paint it on here. I ended up doing two coats of this paint and then you also have to do two top coats so that it doesn't chip off. When you're putting on this paint after it dries you do have to be very very careful not to chip it off because it is fragile um, I chipped off a couple spots as I was like rolling the top coat on and it was really frustrating, but I was able to touch it up really easily and it's fine now. This weekend was a lot of painting. So here I am painting the ceiling.
and now I'm painting the vanity. This vanity had a coating, like a plastic type coating over the top of it that was peeling off. So I just went ahead and like ripped the rest of the plastic coating off of the part that was peeling off. And then the rest of it, I just left it and painted over as usual. And there was no difference. You couldn't tell um, when I got all done. And then to make my life easier, we had some white spray paint. So I just spray painted the drawers and then also the inside of the cabinet. Um, it's just a lot easier than having to paint it. And then all of the hinges that were on the cabinets, I took off and I spray painted those black. I did get new knobs and I had a leftover handle from when I did the kitchen. I also had some leftover sage green paint from the kitchen and I wanted another color besides just black and white in here. So I decided to paint the upper part of the bathroom a sage green. And here is Asher prepping the tub for the tub and tile refinisher. So this is the tub and tile refinishing kit. My review after using it is it's really hard and the smell is intense. We did do it at night right before we went to bed and shut the door to the bathroom and left the window open all night long. So it was able to be aired out overnight and the smell was completely gone the next morning. Good morning. It is like 5.30 on Saturday morning and I could not finish filming in here last night because the tub and tile stuff smells so strong. It was awful. Um, even with a mask on, it was almost you couldn't even be in here. So this is the tub finish. We're going to have some spots that we have to like fix up around the black. But it turned out pretty good. So, uh... Let's see what we can get done today. We're going to go to Home Depot as soon as everybody gets up and ready to buy flooring and a few other things. so cute. Are you hiding? I see you. Goodness, this is silly. There you go. 20 square feet per box. And then this is me putting on the top coating on the black tile in the shower. It is really thin and if you're doing tile on the floor, you only have to put on one coat. But if you're putting it on a vertical surface, it's better to do two thin coats, which is what I did. And then you can see the black vanity top that we made. And then this sink and faucet came from Amazon. We actually got a lot of stuff from Amazon and I will link everything that we got down below. Amazon has a lot better deals than like say Home Depot. And there's also a lot more options. We also got our shower head in the drain from Amazon and then like all the little hardware like our toilet paper roll holder and our towel holder and shower curtain shower rod all of those things came from Amazon and that light fixture also more painting. This is painting around the window. Um, I just did a lot more painting that I didn't even record. I painted the door, just 
just everything. Everything needed to be painted. Oh, look, there's a new toilet seat. Yeah, it looks better, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not going to take very many of these in here. Sure we needed two boxes? Yeah. So it is like 9 30 10 o'clock at night on saturday we have one more day to go we mainly just have to lay the floor down tomorrow finish the plumbing because our little we can't get it to fit and do a lot of detailed work um we gotta go through and like cock around the tub and the window um and then our little handles that we got on Amazon didn't fit. This is an old house. The plumbing is all weird and messed up. Um, so we're probably going to have to go to Home Depot and find something that will fit that better tomorrow. And we're exhausted, so we're going to go to bed. So this is the first time that I had ever used this peel and stick tile and I actually really enjoyed putting it down. It was kind of hard to measure everything and it took me a second to figure out how to do it, especially in such a tight space where basically every piece of tile needed to be cut, especially around the toilet. And then we did end up grouting it because it just is going to last longer and work better, especially in like a bathroom environment where it's going to be getting wet just to keep the water from getting underneath the floor. I also think it looks a heck of a lot better grouted than when they're just stuck together. So I made sure to use these spacers um, as I was laying the tile to just make them more even. So when you're cutting your flooring, it's important to make sure that your knife is sharp, which mine was not, so I had to replace the blade. So an easy way to know where to cut out on the flooring is to just get a scrap piece of paper and put it up to the cutout part and just like trace what you want cut out. And then you can lay it over the tile and just cut that piece off. An important thing I learned is to always make sure that the piece fits before taking the backing off of the tile.
and then someone made sure that I took lots of breaks throughout the day. You're still the cutest baby ever. Yeah. So back behind the toilet was extra tricky, and this peeling part off the back of the tile made for really perfect tracing paper. It was already the exact size of the tile that I needed to cut on, so it ended up working out perfectly. This ended up taking me about half the day, but I got it done. I think it looks really good. And I, again, I enjoyed putting it down. I would definitely do it again. What do you guys think? Would you ever use this peel and stick tile? So now Asher is just grouting the tile for me because he was on baby duty most of the morning <laughs> while I was putting the tile down. So it's her, his turn to grout. And here is the finished bathroom, or mostly finished. We have a couple little details that we still needed to get done. Um, but I am very happy with how it turned out. There are two different colored light bulbs in the light fixture, so we need to get some matching lights. This shower curtain came from Amazon, and I think it really ties in the green. We ended up spending $625. We almost made it. We bought two boxes of the flooring and we were just, we needed one piece out of the second box. So if we wouldn't have used that one piece, I could have taken the other box back and we would have been right on budget. We do still have to replace those handles. And as of recording this, we have not done that yet, but I'm excited with how it turned out. And our next big project that we're going to be working on is our yard. So stay tuned for that video.